Welcome back, friends. You might be wondering, why is Chimney Rock so special? Chimney Rock has become one of the most famous landmarks in the American West, largely due to its stop along the Oregon Trail. Please feel free to pause the video anytime if you would like to read the information board. This unique formation came to symbolize the greatest voluntary migration in the history of mankind. Did you know that a movie was filmed here at Chimney Rock? The Last of the Mohicans in 1992, starring Daniel Day-Lewis and Madeline Stowe. Movies Firestarter and A Breed Apart in 1984 were also filmed here, and just a mile down the road from this park at Lake Lure, Baby, Jennifer Grey, and Johnny, Patrick Swayze, had the time of their lives while filming the 1987 romantic blockbuster Dirty Dancing. Who knew? Sit back and relax and enjoy the beautiful, illuminated Chimney Rock. The spire has lost about 30 feet in the last 150 years. The summit of Chimney Rock rises 470 feet above the North Platte River and measures 325 feet tip to base. The spire measures 120 feet. Chimney Rock began about 38 million years ago. John and I arrived at Chimney Rock on September 1st in 2022. Our plan to chase 70 degrees was not working very well. We found a place to eat in Baird, Nebraska called Nate's Place. So delicious. We had fun driving around the small town of Baird. However, we forgot to go to the Baird Depot Museum. The museum is open Memorial Day through Labor Day from 1 till 4.30 p.m. We enjoyed our five days camping at Chimney Rock Pioneer Crossing Campground. The view of Chimney Rock from this campground is beautiful and at night just mesmerizing. Yep. We're up at Chimney Rock, like the third time, but you know, when I forget stuff for the GoPro, we got to come back. There's Chimney Rock. Our campground's down there, and here's this old cemetery. We'll take a walk up. Chrissy's going to go take some still photos of the rock. Chimney Rock Cemetery, during the westward migration through this pass, many died as they looked for a better life. Died in 1856, Mary Murdoch. See, there's a uh, Somebody's stone. It's like the wife died and the still living husband. We couldn't see that too much. It looks like 1921. Somebody passed here. And 
as a young child, April 23rd to May 5th, 1923. This is unreadable, but uh, it says Ray and Mary there. There's some old markers that are unreadable. This is uh, 1893, this stone's been here. Eighteen ninety-eight, twenty-eight year old. So the young boy died aged one year, nineteen oh one. He passed. This appears to be an unmarked area over here, I don't see a stone. Down to the far end of the cemetery. Somewhere around here the wagons came through. There's a 2015. There's an oldie. They're not even showing. There's no date showing on that one. Two thousand nineteen. Yeah, there's some really newer ones here. Look at these ones. Two thousand sixteen. First to be much, much more newer stones. Two thousand eleven. Born in eighteen eighty nine, died in nineteen eighty three. Two thousand fifteen. I'm sure there's unmarked graves here, somewhere. Just a couple of service. 2003, 1985, 1980, 1997. So yeah, there's just a handful of uh, really old stones. There's Chimney Rock. Just, sun's just getting down. Boot. Frank Dillon Neward. He was young. This is an unreadable stone, and it looks like there's some little stones from maybe their children and stuff down here. This is one of the older ones. Very few. But here they are. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is the, the youngster child. Because he was buried in 2020. Born in 1782 and passed away in 1856. You will see later in this video a picture of Wee Granny. Can't see it with this, my campground's right. Right. Right there. The hiker. Okay. Oh yeah, you can barely see him. Maybe one more. Sweet. Towering to the heavens is how one pioneer described Chimney Rock the most recognized landmark along the Oregon Trail. After visiting this historical cemetery, we went to Chimney Rock National Historic Site Visitor Center, just one minute from the cemetery. This museum is operated by History Nebraska. A wonderful tribute is given to those who travel the trails and features unique exhibits. Also, be sure to check out the gift shop with one-of-a-kind items. We did not get to see any of the wheel ruts. However, there are ruts near Rock Creek Station in Fairbury, Nebraska, and California Hill in Brule, Nebraska, B-R-U-L-E. You can also see ruts in Ash Hollow State Park and a few other locations. So neat to see the ceramic fragments, along with the wedding china and the dolls. These beautiful items belong to families that came from Fremont, Nebraska and Plattsmouth, Nebraska. One year ago today and I was under the parental roof with all of my little ones that I love so well, but I must not complain. It was my choice to come here with my husband rather than be left. Sophia Seeley, 1852. How fun would this be to look inside Parker and Hoyt's new illustrated Miner's Handbook and Guide to Pike's Peak. Immigrants were told to fear Indian attacks. Native Americans worried about the unpredictable strangers crossing their land. Both sides mostly wanted to trade. Most interactions were peaceful. However, the flood of travelers created big problems for native peoples. Immigrants were damaging natural resources and spreading contagious diseases. Between 1840 and 1860, only 
About 362 out of some 500,000 immigrants were known to have been killed by the Native Americans. More Native Americans were killed by immigrants. On the left, Seth Kinman was a famous hunter. He was an early California settler and entertainer who capitalized on his mountain man image. On the right is a wagon train of Nebraska City freighters waiting near the Missouri River, 1860. Nebraska City was a big center for westbound freighting. Remember the gravestone we saw earlier at the cemetery? Tell John I died with my face toward Zion by Clark Kelly Price. These were the last words of a faithful pioneer known as Wee Granny, 73 years old. We have let the white man have it, the trail, so he could pass, but he has gone over it so often now that he claims it and thinks he owns it but it is ours, and always has been ours. Spotted Trail, Brule Lakota Chief, 1864. The landmark story is told at the Ethel and Christopher J. Abbott Visitor Center at Chimney Rock National Historic Site. This wild venturesome life seemed to suit my fancy and I with thousands of others did not settle down to quiet life until this kind of roving life was taken from us. Eugene Munn, 1902. We hope you enjoyed our video highlighting Chimney Rock lit up at night with LED lights, the Chimney Rock Cemetery and the Chimney Rock Visitor Center. Our next adventure will take us to Scotts Bluff National Monument along the Oregon Trail. About 38 million years ago, Streams and wind started carrying silt and sand from the Rocky Mountains to the Nebraska Panhandle. This material built layers of clay that are visible in the rock and surrounding buttes. Other materials consist of volcanic ash, sandstone, and clay. All of these materials are susceptible to erosion. a quick link to part one of our Chimney Rock adventures and a link to an adventure day in South Dakota. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you on the road one day. Safe travels!